Japanese version. So it turns out that the Japanese version of Super Mario Bros. 3 is actually faster. But in my video, I created a lot of confusion. So I want to kind of clean that up and uh, get it out in the open that I am aware that a lot of people are confused with my timing method. I would like to go on the record and just apologize for the extra step that I did. And I'm willing to prove to you guys that, you know, it was my mistake and I want to go the extra mile and kind of clear this up so people can understand because the most important thing is that the Japanese version is faster over the English version. With that being said, let me start off with the fact that I said I did everything in 60 FPS and let me show you exactly what I mean. So what you see right here is my Adobe project of the video. As we enlarge it, I just wanna go through and kind of show you exactly what had happened to me. We're gonna scroll through to the one three section where we did the time frame, okay? So if I frame advance, you can see that it will only display one second after 60 frames, which means that's actually two seconds. So if I click on this little project here and I go to the left, my time code, as you can see, is displaying in 60 non-drop frames. What I didn't do by mistake, and I'm willing to admit my mistake, is that I did not change it to 30. And as you can see, as soon as I changed to 30, it changed right to two seconds. At the end of my video, I had to do all the conversions for that. And that's where a lot of people got confused. If I go back to the beginning of 1.3 and I move one frame at a time, as soon as we get past 30 FPS, it goes one second, giving it essentially double time. And that's where the confusion was. I thought to myself, even though I recorded in 60 FPS, I figured, hey, 60 FPS, is, it will just be doubled at 30 FPS. So I figured I'd do the conversion, but it really, really confused people. And I am so sorry about that, everyone. But just to clear it up, unfortunately, it was just the time code. And what had happened was, is as you can see how big this project was, it wasn't until I got about nine to 10 minutes past it. It wasn't about until I got to, I wanna say the 13 to 14 minute mark into the project. And I thought if I had explained it to you guys at the end and did all the conversions, I wouldn't have to change everything because as it stood, once I realized, I would have had to change all the audio files, all the images, and I would have had to change the whole timing method. In fact, changing the timing method wouldn't have been the hard part because all I would have to do is go back to the time code, change it to 30 FPS, and then all the time codes would be, would be normal. That was actually the easy part. And again, like I said, I'm very sorry about that. It's honestly crazy how one small thing can create so much confusion. And like I said earlier, it wasn't a matter of, oh, I don't wanna do extra work. It was more so 30 frames or 60 frames using the time code resulted in the same time. I just had to do that extra step. And that extra step was very damaging on trying to get the point across in the video. I mean, even if you look at the comments right now, you can see that somebody asked me a question where the answer was clearly in the video. However, that person stopped the video, asked the question, and then I think they went back later and, and realized that they shouldn't have asked it. All jokes aside, had I not had to do that extra step and eliminated all that confusion, I don't think people would be um, asking so many questions and being confused. So like I said, I really take full blame. But aside from all of that, What's the next step in the Japanese version? One of the most annoying things is practicing and getting good at the fire kills in Mario 3. They're very specific on how you finish the world and enter the castle, all the way up until the point on when you get into the pipe. And as you can see in this example from my 100% run that every fire kill has a very specific way that it's done. And also depending on how the world went or how you get to the castle will also change the patterns that they give you. The Japanese version, obviously the text is faster. So you get to the boss quicker in the Japanese version than you do in the English, which means you're going to get different patterns. And this is probably going to be the very first step. The first thing we need to figure out because a bad fire kill versus a good fire kill is very, very big. Good things about the fire kill is that we know that world three and at least world six will be the exact same thing. Those bosses don't really have any variances in patterns. I mean, Wendy, you guys have seen it before. You just shoot, shoot, shoot. She stays on the ground. The other bosses, they really like to jump around and move a lot. We do already know that world one gives the same boss pattern. And I think world two 
gives a 100% pattern rather than the normal warpless, because this is on the warpless category. So that's another two boss patterns. So World 4, I have seen on the Japanese version, has a very silly pattern. It like, he like jumps and then jumps again, very annoying. But we don't know about World 5 and we don't know about World 7. So those are the things that we're going to be looking out for when practicing the Japanese version. This is going to be very interesting. I'm super excited to see who's going to start running on the Japanese version and what PBs are going to look like. There's actually a couple things in the video that I didn't explain. A lot of little micro things. Let me give you an example. In 6 Fort 1, on the English version, you take two hits of damage, where in the Japanese version, you would only take one. Each hit of damage, especially from Big Mario to Small Mario, if anything, is at least half of a second. So you would save that there. But in 1-5, when you take damage, you go to Small Mario, so you have to grab your Mushroom and your Fire Flower. However, if you get your Mushroom on the Hammer Brother, that actually doesn't take any time, so you would still get the same power up time. Very weird stuff. Another thing too is if you get an extra cloud, you have to open up your inventory one extra time. There's a little bit of time loss there, but if you use that cloud to skip over the fortress, that's one less transition that you have to do in World 8. So these, there's all these little tiny things, all these little micro things. And I mean, someone doing slow menuing is gonna see worse results versus someone who does fast menuing. Very exciting, but I can tell you right now, I am definitely gonna load up Mario 3 on the Japanese version, start practicing those boss patterns and see what I can get. I really appreciate everyone's patience on this, and I am always very scared that I'm gonna do something really wrong in my YouTube videos, so I appreciate all the comments, and I know everyone is just trying to help uh, make sure that we get all the facts right and all the information right, and I encourage it, and I, I will keep doing my best to give you guys the content you deserve. So, thank you for watching, and woo, Japanese version!